Kohl's is one of the largest retail and department chains in the United States, with over 1,200 locations across the country. Maxwell Cole founded Kohl's in 1927 and now it generates over $18 billion in revenue. Kohl's sells everything from clothing, houseware, electronics, and much more, similar to its competitors Target, Walmart, and Macy's. We have guides on web scraping Target, Walmart, and Macy's as well. However, in this guide, we'll show you how to scrape Kohl's products from their website using Parsup, our free web scraper. Let's Let's begin. Scraping shoes. Begin by opening up the Parsub application and log in. Create a project with the new project button. Enter the Kohl's page URL you wish to scrape. We will use this URL to scrape men's shoes. Click the first product's name to extract it. The rest of the product names should now turn yellow. Click the next product's name and then all the products should turn green. Rename the selection on the left to shoe. Scraping prices. To scrape additional details from each product, we need to use Parsub's relative select tool. Begin by clicking Clicking the plus button next to the shoe selection you made earlier. Choose relative select and click the first shoe's name again. An arrow should appear. Point it to the first shoe's price and click it to extract it. Redo this with the second pair of shoes to train the parse up algorithm. Now all the prices should be extracted. Rename the selection on the left to price. Scraping star ratings. Once again, click the plus button next to your shoe selection and choose relative select. Click the first shoe's name and hover the arrow over the star ratings. There is a span and A tag. Make sure you click when the A tag is shown. Do the same steps for the next shoe by clicking the name and then the A tag. Rename the selection on the left to rating. Expand the selection and delete the URL extraction. Click the rating extraction and under the extract dropdown, choose title attribute. Now all star ratings will be shown out of five. Pagination. If we ran the scrape now, only the first page would be scraped. We will use Parsup's pagination feature to scrape multiple pages. Firstly, scroll all the way down the first page until you see the next page button. Click the plus button again, but this time next to the page selection. Click select and click the next page button to extract it. Rename the selection to pagination and expand it to delete the extraction. Click the plus button next to the pagination selection you just made and choose click. You will be asked if this is a next page button. Choose yes. Now you can choose the additional amount of pages you wish to scrape. We chose one, which is two pages in total. Starting your scrape. Now that you have extracted the shoe names, prices, and ratings and have set up pagination to harvest data from multiple pages, we are ready to begin scraping. Begin by clicking the green Get Data button on the left pane. You can choose to test, run, or schedule your scrape. We chose Run to scrape the two pages a single time. If you follow this guide correctly, your data should look similar to this. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more web scraping tips. If you need help with your web scraping, especially e commerce websites, feel free to reach out to our live chat support at parsup.com. The link is in the description below. Happy scraping!